5 this year's legislative session soon coming to an end, actually coming up tonight at midnight. And a lot of bills got passed, but many did not. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol with all of those details. Susan. Aaron, every year legislative sessions are judged by how productive they are and the fact is this year's session may not be the most productive one and technically there's some argument over whether the state actually has a budget. But with that said, there were priorities this year and some passed. Lawmakers are doing last minute business before this year's session ends. There's always disappointment. I mean, I think we all get elected to office with an ambition and a desire and a goal to do a whole lot more than we can otherwise accomplish. A priority this year was expanding paid sick time. The current law requires companies with 50 or more employees to offer 40 hours. Now it will be required for all companies regardless of size. Housing was another priority. We've got to make sure that we are working with our communities across the state to look at ways in which we could build more housing. But despite a big push to address climate change and artificial intelligence, it doesn't look like anything will be done this year. Governor Lamont wanted something done to get more people driving electric vehicles, but that hit a roadblock. Republicans are outnumbered by Democrats in the House and Senate. This is their take on this year's session. I think we've done a fairly good job in, 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 in offsetting some bad policies that would have cost a lot of money to the consumers. Senate Minority Leader Harding is referring to a massive bill to address climate change, something that was talked about this legislative session. It is going nowhere. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, who got money in these final days of the legislative session and why not having a real budget could spell real trouble going forward. We're live at the State Capitol in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Susan, thank